Travis County Correctional Complex, um, Community Yoga Austin is doing some really amazing work teaching yoga um, to a number of different inmate groups there. We have uh, three classes with men. Um, they enter into a four-week class that is level one, where we really go over just some of the basics. They do it all from chairs. Um, it also allows us as teachers to get a sense of um, the personalities in the class. Before jail, I never would have done yoga. I used to drink beer and cuss all day. But now I've tried yoga and it's completely changed everything. I even teach my friends some of the poses. One of the things that we do here at Travis County uh, Sheriff's Office, we try to bring programs that uh, could positively affect uh, the individuals that have made bad choices in our jail. One of the programs is the yoga program uh, that was started several years ago and, and I've gotten a lot of positive feedback. Well, originally I met Jill Kutch at um, a church meeting. She's a, a director of community yoga. It was a luncheon uh, at, that I attended at uh, Wesley United Methodist Church, and they had some different activities for women. Uh, yoga was an activity that we participated in, and they gave us some holistic information. Jill did some chair exercises, and it involved movement and breathing, and I found it to be very, very relaxing, and I thought, wow, this would be a great thing to do at the jail. So I thought I'd talk to her, and I did, and she was open and receptive, and I was great. It was great to me, you know, for her to just, you know, uh, be so interested and want to do it. Jill had some interesting information. She had just come back from a trip from New York, and she was doing yoga in um, some of the schools. And so I was like, wow, you're teaching yoga to uh, elementary school age children? And she said, yes. And I said, well, you know, um, how about coming out to the jail and introducing it to our population? Because we had meditation classes already, so I thought um, this could be an expansion. So we hooked up, and uh, next thing you know, we were having yoga classes out of the jail. We started with 25 individuals, and uh, Jill took them through a rigorous uh, routine, and um, the guys, you know, were kind of thinking like, you know, this female's not going to be able to work me out. What am I doing here? I'm like, give me a break. By the time she finished with them, they were like, ow, ooh, you know. This was really, you know, intense. We started out with three classes, and then we moved up to four. So now we have four classes going on presently. Yoga and cognitive behavioral therapy go really well together because if you look down to the fundamentals of what yoga originally was, it's meditation oriented, it's designed to help develop the mind through the body. Uh, I think it's therapeutic for these individuals. Matter of fact, uh, I've talked with several uh, individuals, I guess it was a yoga rally that were incarcerated in our facility uh, that said that they have continued on with this yoga class. So uh, we have made an, an effect on on some of the individuals and it's no telling how many people that are making a positive influence by participating in yoga that uh, I haven't come in contact with. But there's also something about um, you know the Texas prison. I mean you hear about it around the country. It's got a reputation for a reason. Um, it's intense and um, the first time I walked in there and met Beverly Gentle, who's the volunteer um, administrator, I was taken aback. And, you know, I thought, here I was, I was comfortable teaching in the prison. You know, part of it, I think, literally, is the, um, the stripes that the inmates are wearing. You know, it looked like it was straight out of, oh, brother, where art thou? You know, the wide horizontal stripes. It just, it, it's striking. But, you know, that also is an incredibly striking image to see those inmates on their yoga mats, um, in their stripes. And to see that wasn't stopping them from doing their practice. And um, it, it's really powerful to, to see that. So yeah, it's, it's a hardcore, <laughs> hardcore prison in Texas. All the more reason I think that, um, that those inmates can really benefit from this practice. It teaches how to soften, um, still remain safe, still keep your boundaries strong, um, but not to be hardened by your experience. I think it depends on the individual and it depends on the teacher. A, a lot of what makes it work is the quality of the presentation. 
some populations are more difficult to teach, but that doesn't mean that they can't benefit. They're going to get maybe different benefits, maybe not even the benefits you're trying to teach, you know? I think it just depends on those two factors really a lot. I think yoga really also gives people who have been incarcerated some new tools for dealing with the challenges that we all face in life outside of those walls. The community yoga is a really great program and it deserves a lot of support. It makes, it's going to make a big difference. It already has. Meditating and doing yoga helps me find peace and brings me comfort. I'm able to perceive my situation in a more objective view. I'm not full of self-pity or fear. When doing breathing exercises, I can feel my chest cavity rise and fall, and I feel my heart beating in the back of my chest. I gain a sense of peace, knowing that I'm alive and that everything will be okay. I remember one student in particular who started talking spontaneously one morning before class. Um, and he was a student that you could see had a really exquisite practice, just really very focused and able to drop down deep into himself. Um, that kind of depth that really only really comes from practice. So he clearly has been practicing a lot. And he just started spontaneously talking about how he is practicing yoga every day in his cell and how much it has changed him. Um, he started talking about how he came to prison because uh, um, he assaulted someone. Um, and how that's been a lifelong pattern for him, that he has, he said, I've never known how not to hit someone when something was going wrong. And, you know, he got out on parole and then came back in. And he said, yoga now is giving me something different to do. My cellmate is really um, always trying to pick a fight with me. Um, he just doesn't like me. And... Um, but now with yoga, I can resist. Um, when he starts getting in my face, I can just close my eyes and start breathing. And it gives me something entirely different to do when I'm mad. I thought, oh, how beautiful is that? That's why we're here. That's why we are teaching yoga um, to these individuals, is so that they have a different way of interacting in the world outside of the prison. And I remember this same, this same student, um, he said, I am so grateful for this program. I would have never done yoga outside. You know, he's like, look at me, you know, I'm a tough guy. I'm, I'm all about hanging with my friends and drinking beer and watching football. And the stigma attached to doing yoga, I would have never done it. And I thought, how perfect is that? You know, like the stigma of doing yoga um, has been removed for him because he's felt the fruit of this, of this effort. And he's able now to, you know, as he said, I'm gonna look for yoga when I get back out. Um, I'm gonna keep doing yoga outside. And it's just totally changed his life. That's reform. That's what we need more of in our prisons. Meditating and doing yoga helps me find peace and brings me comfort. I'm able to perceive my situation in a more objective view. I'm not full of self-pity or fear.